Hey guys, the other day I got a question of um, Transform that it's missing down here. So I'm in Photoshop right now and this is Photoshop CC 2017 and I'm in Motion. Okay, so that's my workspace right now, Motion, and I'm doing this video, all right? So after you do a video, as you know, you can do a GIF file or whatever you guys want. Anyways, down here I was told I'm missing that transform option and yeah yeah for sure if you have a jpeg png anything like that for sure you guys will not see the transform option down here however it's very easy to get that option okay so you guys can do animations and um okay so let's start off so let's select so this guy right and then all we have to do is up here you guys are gonna look for this all right so layer so it says layer down here and then just scroll down a little bit and then you see here it says smart object so you guys want to convert to a smart object so we're done converting so right now that he converted this JPEG to a smart object if I click here again I will see the transform option so at this point if I want to let's just do a transformation so let's just have that selected let's click right here um, Let's move this in our timeline and then let's just move this down here. Command T to transform. I'm holding shift to maintain the radio ratio right there. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to press enter or return and I'm done my animation. So if I go back on this, there we go. Let me just press my space bar and there's my animation. So as you can see, it's a transformation, and that's how you get it to work. So, um, there's a few notes. The image, okay, should be done. If you're gonna make it a smart object, I would suggest having it all done, okay? Um, I wouldn't try to manipulate it, change colors, or something weird like that after changing it to a smart object. I would, for sure, a finished done image before you make a smart object. I know that kind of doesn't make sense, but it does, trust me. Uh, it's gonna help you out once you guys do this animation with transformation. Um, it just makes it easier. If it's a finished thing, then apply this and do your transformation. So right now my image is set, and that's why I was able to make this transformation, and then my thing keeps playing, right? Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.